Hello everyone, and welcome. Today we will be breaking down sound localization. So what is sound localization? Have you ever closed your eyes and been able to tell, for example, that there were kids playing off to the right of you, but music playing off to the left, and the distance between each? To solve this, let's revisit what sound is. Sound travels through a medium, typically air, and causes a ripple, much like how water moves in waves when it's disturbed, like this. Pure tones are represented like the sinusoidal waveform, but for purposes of this topic, sound will be represented more like this. There are two ways that we're able to localize sound. The first meaning inter, meaning in, oral meaning ear, level difference, interoral level difference. The second being interoral timing difference. Interoral timing difference is made by your head's shadow. Just like when you're outside and have a shadow, your head casts a shadow when the sound reaches one side. So when a sound hits one side, it's louder than the side with the shadow. Just like how there isn't much or no sun in your regular shadow outside. Now. Imagine that you're in the middle of two speakers, but one is closer than the other. How are you able to tell what sound is coming from which? Since we as humans have two ears, when a sound, for example music, comes from one source, only one of our ears is going to hear it first. This interoral timing difference is due to the distance between our ears and the time that it takes sound to travel to the second ear. Another thing that helps us localize is the inverse square law. The inverse square law states that for every doubling of distance from the sound source, sound intensity will decrease by 6 decibels. For example, in an open air space, each doubling of distance away from the sound source would subtract 6, starting at the source of 96 decibels, dropping to 90, then down to 84, and etc. And so, for a quick review, two ways that we local localize are interoral level difference, which was largely because of the head shadow, and interoral timing difference, which is mostly due to the distance between our ears. And now you know about sound localization.